Testicles. Testicles. Sweaty testicles. Testing. Sweaty testicles. Hello and welcome to uh, season two of the Savages Sexy Show. There's been a lot of change as you can see. No longer do I have a Harley Davidson Fat Bob, I've got a Kawasaki Z1000, which is Z1000 for people who aren't Kawasaki enthusiasts. The Z1000, when you get a Kawasaki, you shorten every word. Just like Kawasaki is actually quack. So she is, 1,000 and, what is it, 1,040cc, I don't fucking know, something like 1,000cc. Completely standard at the moment, except the towel tidy, which we needed to sort out, because the old ones are fucking disgusting. And we've got some new exhaust coming, some Vance and Hines Urban Brawlers. Aggressive looking thing, don't get me wrong. So I thought I'd kick off season 2 today with, uh bit of a ride out, bit of a motor vlog. Let's fucking, let's update you on shit. <coughs> I've got a digital display. Don't get it on Harley. So, I'll talk about the bike first. Uh, got it two weeks ago. Got really pissed off with Harley. Don't get me wrong, look, they look cool. They look cool. They sound sweet as fuck. But that's kind of, that's kind of where it ends. They're slow as hell, they handle like shit. They brake like shit. Uh, I don't know, what I have a big problem with is the fact that they, uh, they just rip off everyone. Like, this bike is pretty unbelievable. It's fucking, it's 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, ridiculously quick, handles awesome, the brakes are awesome, and it was, like, ten and a half grand. So, value for money, my fat bob was 15 grand, fucking handled like a piece of shit, so, bang for your butt. You cannot argue with this. Saying that, the Harley did have a a trip button uh, on the on the fucking handle, which meant you could scroll through all this shit on the thing, which is quite handy. But on this one, you got to press these buttons, which is quite distracting. I mean, by the time I've got to where I've got to on the uh, on the display, I've mounted the pavement and fucking killed. Kill 10 kids, but apart from that, it is unbelievable. That's the bike side of things. Fuck, so much has changed since I've last seen you. I've moved house, so as you may or may not have known, the place that I lived before was actually one of my dad's houses. He, I don't want to say kicked us out, but he said you can no longer live here and I will take legal proceedings if you stay. So we got kicked out and now we're moving. We've moved uh, to another place where Alice's mum lives. Beautiful place. Very lucky to be there. So that's, that's quite cool. I bought a new van. I think that's, I think that's Alice's friend. Blombird. I think she's a vet or some shit. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Right. Out of the way then, Kurt. I'm coming around here. Thank you very much. I was going around the corner at... Uh, some speed the other day and the chain came off. I say came off, not like when you're a kid and it actually comes off, but it came off as in I changed up and it, it, it didn't do anything. And then there was a lot of grinding, uh, which is good. But uh, yeah, this is it's definitely a cool bike. I thought the Harley was a cool bike. I basically only got it because I thought it would get my dick sucked. I thought fucking sluts love the Harley. Turns out they don't give a fuck. Least of all my misses, so um, yeah, I'll give it a go on this bad boy. Uh, oh, my ankle. Yeah, okay, let's talk about that quickly. So, I'm still in quite a bit of pain, partly just because I'm a pussy. I've got another pre-op assessment on Wednesday. Now, what that is, is before my operation, uh, they give you an assessment where they check that you're not going to die on the table. I'll tell you what they did do. Fucking check this out. So I went. And I remember the day before. I didn't have a shower. And I thought, do you know what? Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go fucking smell it like a fucking homeless person. So I turned up. And they did all the usual checks. Tested my weight and stuff. And fucking all that shit. And then she said, can you swab your groin? That was a fucking... That was a turn up for the books. Um... 
So yeah, I swapped, swapped my groin. Uh, so it's quite awkward. There's just a bird sat there. I kind of thought she might leave me to it, but she didn't. She just sat and kind of watched me. Whilst I'm getting this cotton bud and just rubbing it over my ball. I mean, I'm pretty sure it should have got in sort of the thigh gap. Um, but I thought I'd get some testicles involved. Uh, it definitely, there was definitely a smell in the room. I do kind of wish that I had washed the day before. Yeah, so that, that's valid for 12 weeks. And if you don't get an appointment within 12 weeks, you've then got to go back and do it all over again. So I'm really glad that I took that day off and lost a day's wages, about a thousand pounds, um, to fucking go see those cunts. Um, for them to not give me an appointment and then, oh, riding that clutch. To not give me an appointment and then uh, i got to do it all again. So that's good. Uh, I'm, I'm losing weight at the moment. I've lost five pounds in well, just under three weeks, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but apparently that's kind of kind of normal. So I'm not quite so much of a fat fuck. I can kind of get a t-shirt on without it riding up my stomach, which is um, always novel. I, quite, I do quite enjoy that. So I've joined, I've joined the gym. They said, listen, can you sort of stay downstairs because you're intimidating the fucking, the meatheads upstairs. And I was like, no problem. I'll fucking, you know, I'll stay down here. So I pretty much have the whole gym to myself now. So I'm kind of living on uh, an equestrian centre, which is a house for horses, essentially. Uh, it's quite nice. It's very scenic. We've got no neighbours, which is always, always a Brucey boner. Bruce, 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 fucking saw force, foreskin died. Bruce Forsyth, saw five, Forsyth died. I mean, that's not a shock, really. He was about 120, I think. But um, fuck me, mental, mental. There is a bit of news. Actually, it was quite exciting. I am now. No longer married. My my divorce came through. So um, that's an exciting... I was hoping they were going to send like a certificate. Like an award, you know? Like, congratulations, you're no longer married. But they don't. They just send you a letter saying, you know, you're now just another statistic of a failed marriage. So I don't know if uh, you want to collectively join me in saying fuck you. Uh, I'm now rid of that fucking leech. Exciting times. Exciting times. Uh, we've had a shop refit uh, at the shop. It's gone quite well. So we've now got three. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that bump. Oh fuck it. I've lost a bollock. Oh fuck. I might have to turn around and fucking go and find my bollock. Oh, I've got that pain in my stomach. Oh, oh fuck. I mean, it's painful, but strangely arousing. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure my seat touched my prostate then. Uh, do you know what? I never actually got the results back from my groin swab. I think they test for MRSA. Uh, I don't know whether that's a good thing that I haven't heard or... I'm not going to go back in tomorrow and I'm just going to say um, the reason we've got you back is uh, you've actually got AIDS. You let me go? Okay, oh look at lovely bloke. What a lovely bloke. The front end just wants to come up all the time. It's fucking ridiculous. You can feel it just skipping. Just, just tickling the floor. Knee down shit. Let's get this fucking knee down. I feel this may have been a bit of a boring video, but it's kind of just a, you know, getting back into it. Ease myself. Fucking, instead of just going back in dry, I've lubed up the sides and uh, easing myself into it. <laughs> Fucking up. I like how that 125 is loud on my bike. Brilliant. <laughs> the gaps that are acceptable to overtake reduce so much. Because you can get in and out so quick. Story of my life. The old stomping ground in there. But a lovely lady. But uh, all the old boys liked her. And I don't think it was the way they, she cut their hair. It was creepy. Uh, they'd sort of come in and they'd be like, a lot of heavy breathing. Whilst the old boys touched themselves uh, under the gown. 
Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We went on fucking 70. I will try and find some some fit barber to cut my hair, and I will probably wank off. Um, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just you know a funny little story. Here. Oh, indicator still on. So that's probably been on since I left home. Right, let's fuck off to work then. Um, yeah, alright. Well, as ever, if there's any topics you want me to cover, do comment below. That's, that's right, sweetheart. Thanks for, thanks for not running over us. Don't get me wrong, I would have if that red light wasn't there. It would have been funny. Until next time, you cunts.